Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Update. Today we're going to look at the five most bizarre and terrifying creatures of the sea. So, grab yourself some snacks and enjoy the video. Coming in at number one, we have the Pilagotruia nestris. Was first described in the 1980s, it was said to be a common sight on deep sea expeditions at the time, but has rarely been really seen since. From records of its anatomy and a few dead specimens, we know that this animal is actually a high and unusual sea cucumber that spends its entire life adrift in the water. Its transparent, amber-like swimming web is an extreme modification of the tentacles that normally ring a sea cucumber's mouth. Dwarfing its tiny back-like body, it seems to feed on any tiny particles that fall into its gasping, funnel-like throat. With its shrinking body and huge fins, it presumably never needs to rest on the seafloor, and like other swimming sea cucumbers living in the deep sea, who still spend most of their lives sifting for food in marine snow. It is essentially a sea cucumber living the lifestyle of a jellyfish. So, we have the swimmer worm for number two. Related to earthworms and leeches, marine bolagate worms tend to be a considerably more albarate and leaks, equipping with spines, armor plates, fiddly gills, tentacles, frank like mandibles, multiply eyes, and rows of foot like or fin like bustacing. Some specimens even spend their entire lives gracefully swimming, as you might have guessed about a genius with a name like swimmer. Several spices of these beautiful creatures have also been referred to as green bomber worms. Due to their strange and unique defense mechanism, each worm possesses a row of tiny green pots near its head that are packed with light production bacteria. When attacked, the worm can drop one or more of these pots, which flare up with brilliant green light for several seconds. As the worm swims away, predator may be confused into attacking its light bombs and a loose track of the real animal, not unlike the inclined tactics of Cephalobus. So, we have the Araner for number 3. This glittering worm-shaped creature is actually a member of species of jellyfish called Cephalobus. Like all Cephalobus, including the well-known Portuguese man of war, its body is actually a mass of individual creatures, each one acting like a single organ or appendage to form something between a colonial organism and a single body. A change of blasting swimming polyps propel, it is to the water, trailing behind it a collection of boat feeding polyps and venomous stinging polyps. In the case of the arena, the stinging polyps are also equipped with bright red luminous tips, which are repeatedly reeled in and released. The rapid movement of these appendages seem to imitate a tiny shrimp, attracting small fish that are immediately paralyzed and pulled into the feeding polyps, which distribute nutrients throughout the body. This makes the arena the only known example of its film with a luring mechanism, though more may be out there considering what a common and effective strategy it is in the deep. So we have the deep seal snake fish for number three. Number four, named for the slimy skinless skin and almost glutinous flesh, snailfish are closely related to the famous bloodfish and the more colorful, more elaborately finished lionfish. They can be found in a variety of marine environments, from warm kelp forests to the deepest water in which any fish has ever been observed alive. These tadpole-like animals look relatively innocent, maybe even a little cute, but don't be fooled. Even without nightmarish tentacles or demonic fangs, some snailfish exhibit a sinister streak with their persistent per reproductive behavior. Using retractable tentacle like over postures, the female of some deep sea snailfish in the genus Gerber inject their eggs into the gill chamber of living king crabs, including a species we humans like to eat. A huge, spiny, well armored crab is an effective place for small, squishy fish to hide its young from predators, but the presence of eggs makes it harder for the crab to breed, stun its growth, and it may even lead to lethal nourishment of their gill tissue. So, last but not least, we have the Sting Medusa gigantica. The giant squid, 
might be the deep's f most famous tentacle monster, but jellyfish have been a abyssal terror of their own that has rarely s been seen by human eye. Billowing through the water like one of J.K. Rowling's Dementors, the deep reddish-black gigander lacks the stingray, stinging tentacle of many other jellies, but trill five flowing, sheet-like muscular arms that can reach more than 6 meters 20 feet behind it. These fleshy curtains are actually a massive version of the oral arms other jellyfish species use to clutch their prey and extension of the digestive system, lined with microchannels that carry gastric enzymes and nutrients to and perform the rest of the body. This means that prey are already being digested once they are wrapped up in the suffocating fold of the monster's arms, which are virtually invisible in their surroundings. They are the closest thing in nature to a living carnivorous shadow. As terrifying as it is, it does seem to have a friend. A small fish called Tessuridia has been observed following it around, but little is known about the nature of this symbiont. So, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos as well. So, see you guys in another video. Bye.